The Super Bowl champion speaking up for his high school coach, Venice High School football coach John Peacock, was fired this week just months after the Indians won the state championship. Peacock was dismissed after he liked a tweet from one of his players that made fun of the Braden River football coach. Some viewed the tweet as racist. One of Peacock's former players is Trey Burton. And he now plays in the NFL and helped lead the Philadelphia Eagles to their first Super Bowl championship when they defeated the New England Patriots just a few months ago and Trey Burton joins us now by Skype from Tampa to discuss the firing of his former coach. Uh, Trey, thanks for joining us. Why do you feel compelled to weigh in in defense of your former high school coach? Oh man, uh, there's many reasons. I would say probably the uh, first thing that comes to my mind is just for all the help that he had, he's given you know, the players uh, at Venice High School, especially, I mean, I, we, I'm multiracial. Uh, my brother's multiracial, um, and I've, I think I'd probably say I'm one of the players that's around him the most, um, and I would never in my life say that he is a racist or has said anything racial, racially uh, divisive or um, anything like that. So I wanted to make sure that uh, people, you know, heard, at least for me, that uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he um, did not mean any of the tweets or li liking or whatever the deal was um, for um to be racist. Do you think this whole thing has been blown out of proportion? Yeah, I think this is something that uh, has developed over a year or two. Uh, I don't think just because of this tweet um, or him liking the tweet or whatever it was that um, they fired him. And I think that uh, there's a couple, you know, people higher up who um, kind of wanted to see him out. And with the easiest way they could possibly do it is, is by this. Do, do you have any idea? why that was why what was why uh people higher up wanted to see uh, coach peacock out no i'm not too sure uh i mean i don't know how his daily relationships are with people um but i know you know from being around him a lot he's not the easiest person to talk to or get along with um just because he's uh so goal so goal oriented and um you know he loves football and loves uh, coaching these kids uh, helping them mature. So I don't, I don't know, you know, that far. Uh, I just know that it just doesn't seem right that over him liking something on social media, you know, uh, they fired him. You know, it was just a couple of years ago, you were playing high school football around here. It seems that the rivalries and um, have, have, are so intense around here, not only from players from each team, but also from the coach. Is it, in your opinion, too over the top? No, I, I would never say it's too over the top. Um, you know, from what I understand, something happened, you know, with Braden River, and um, they were cheating, and they were practicing when they shouldn't have been practicing. And, um, you know, the coach obviously didn't like that. And so, but whenever you do illegal stuff like that, it's going to come to light, uh, and you can't, you know, you can't mess around and cheat. There's too many phones and cameras and uh, things like that going around to really be messing around with uh, cheating. But, uh, no, I, I don't think they're – too crazy. I mean, when I was in high school, my biggest rival was uh, Manatee, and uh, it was never, never too crazy. You know, is there a lesson to be learned here either way, whether you play high school football or play in the NFL, that in this day and age, you got to be really careful about what you do with social media? Yeah, I mean, not just social media, anything you do. That's one of the first speeches you get uh, in college and in the NFL when you first arrive, you know, is that everything you do um, whether it's saved, whether it's deleted, whether if you put it out there, it's going to, it's going to be out there and someone will, um, find a way to get it back. So it's definitely something that you got to be aware of and you got to be, you got to be smart about. And finally, if there's one thing you could say to administrators here in Sarasota County about your coach, uh, if you want to, uh, implore them to reverse their decision or say anything, what would that be? Yeah. I mean, I highly doubt that they'll reverse their decision because it would look absolutely horrible, you know, on their side. Uh, but I think it's a big mistake. You know, I think, um, you know, something needs to be reconsidered. And uh, obviously I would, I hate, hate seeing this just for John and um, just for how much I know he loves football and how much I know he cares for, uh, not, not just loves football, but cares for these kids. You know, there's, um, like I said, there has never been one instance where I, I would even uh, think, you know, of him making a, uh, racist comment or racist remark. He's actually, you know, one of the most loving uh, coaches for the minority community that there is. And so 
uh, I just really hope that they don't make this mistake again, and I hope that they can figure um, something out, you know, with him. And um, but this toughest part about all of it is that he is going to be labeled as a racist now just because of uh, of all of this, and I think that's you know it's, it's horrible. Okay, Trey Burton, thank you very much for joining us today, and good luck next season. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Joining us now for his first interview since being fired earlier this week is the former Venice coach, John Peacock. Coach Peacock, thanks for joining us tonight. You heard what Trey Burton had to say. You heard from a friend of yours last night on this broadcast. I, number one, I would imagine that uh, your, your spirits are buoyed by the, the support you have from your former uh, players and coaches. Coach, yeah, um, go ahead. You know, it's been a whirlwind the last couple of days. It's been very emotional and finally been able to uh, talk talk about it today and not be able to, you know, be so emotional and break down and talk about it. But, you know, I'd like to apologize to Coach Bradley. And I made a very poor decision and set a bad example. And I'd like to explain that the tweet and the like was an attempt to tease him about using a beauty product, not, not a race. Uh, that never entered my on my player's mind, and um, I feel horrible that Coach Bradley took it that way. And it's important to me that Coach Bradley accepts my sincerity, and I, I can assure you that race was never a part of it, nor would I condone or tolerate such behavior by one of my players, my family members, or a friend. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Bradley and the program he's built, and you know they're they're always our toughest competition. And I hope Braden River and Venice can continue to have a healthy competition moving forward. And um, you know, I'm truly sorry for all parties involved that um, had to go through this because it, you know, affects a lot of people. Coach, uh, a lot of people have talked about and have been wondering about whether you were dismissed for this and this alone, or were there other things, other issues that were leading up to this? You know, I really, I can't comment on that. Um, you know, I, I wasn't the one doing the firing and I, I really can't comment on that um, I just you know the important thing to me is I just uh, hopefully I can clear my name and uh, you know and move forward in a positive direction well it, only four months ago you won the state championship with your players which uh, is an incredible feat uh, and so a lot of people who are watching this you know find it hard to believe uh, four months ago you were you were crowned state championship and uh, champions, and now uh, you you lose your job, and they're wondering if it could be this and this alone, or what else could have been going out there. I mean, obviously, we live in the time where uh, you know issues are, are, especially racial issues, are treated very seriously, and there's a sensitivity to it. Um, but there there are a lot of people in this community are wondering what more was at play here. County, it, it really looks like, uh, you know, I've, first off, you know, I've, I've made a bad decision, and I think it was very poor timing and when that decision was made, you know, especially with all the things going on at other schools, and, you know, and maybe it's a good lesson for, for the kids, you know, that, you know, have to be careful what they do on social media, and maybe, you know, maybe I'm uh, going to be someone that can they can look at and say, hey, look at what happened here to, to uh, Coach Peacock here from you know, doing something um, irresponsible on social media. Coach, do you want to coach high school football again? And if so, do you see that happening here on the Sun Coast, or are you going to have to look outside the area? Oh, I don't know. It looks um, pretty neat, you know, you're, you know, once you get labeled as what, what I've been labeled, and you know, you, when it's on the Internet, it's there. So I, I'm probably... Uh, probably won't have another opportunity to coach football again. Do you have a game plan in maybe reaching out to the community who, uh, you know, members of the community who may have been offended and trying to talk to them? Um, you know, sometimes when people who are in the news like this, when they do that, um, they get public sentiment that would allow them uh, to go on to their next, you know, their second act. Well, you know, I've been it's been very humbling the last couple of days, the uh, amount of outreach I've received from the people. It's um, been very humbling to me, and uh, 
I think I think the people that uh, you know that know me know that know that that's not to be true. Um, but no, I haven't reached out to anybody. I have, I've, like I said, today's probably the first I've been able to hold a conversation with somebody. So you're probably one of the first people I've been able to talk to for more than two or three seconds. Coach, uh, have you had the opportunity to address your players? Um, and if so, or if not, what would you like to say to them? I did address them. I addressed them on uh, Wednesday before their practice, and I just let them know that you know this is none of their faults. It's you know I, I took responsibility for what happened to me, and I told them you know you can't always control what happens in life, but you, you need one thing you can control is your attitude and your effort. They need to do the best job that they can possibly do in the classroom and in the community, and then on the football field. And I just told them I'm a grown person, and I'll, I will be okay. I'll figure something out some way. Okay, Coach John Peacock, uh, Peacock, thank you very much for joining us, and, and we wish you the, the best of luck.